the pastors and I, the building manager, the secretaries, and the school principal, uh, upon coming in to work today at different times, we all had to come through one of two entrances. And on those are cement patios before you get into the door. There was some beautiful artwork that met us as a surprise today. Artwork and encouraging messages from scripture and coming into work on a rainy, dreary day where you're out of routine, out of sorts. The whole day ahead is on your mind. It's very scattered and you're met with this beautiful, encouraging surprise. Really did lift our spirits. It really did encourage us. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 22 to 24. Let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and to good works. The author of Hebrews is telling you and I to do nothing less. In three steps, it's saying there in those two verses, number one, draw near. Draw near to God in these chaotic times, in these days. Draw close to him. Number two, hold fast. Hold fast is a term like sailors would use when they would take their arm and they would intertwine it around ropes going around the deck, literally to keep them from getting tossed overboard. Hold fast to the confession of our faith that God has given us, this beautiful faith that he has given to us as a gift. Hold on tight to that in these days. And then finally, as you draw near to God, as you hold fast to that faith, how can you stir one another up? What can you do? Pray to God this day. God, what can I do to stir up a brother or sister in the faith that I might lift their spirits, to stir them up in love and in good works? And God will answer that prayer. However it is for you, whether it's a phone call or a creative note or something else, or to make somebody a treat, to leave an anonymous note or a message for someone. Uh, honoring social distancing and only going out if you need to. But there are many ways that God may lay on your heart how you can stir one another up in faith and good deeds. So that's my challenge to you this day, brothers and sisters. May you do so for the glory of God.